everybody get up. topic is going to be about how to read the NASDAQ and the Dow Jones. Uh, this question was asked by one of our followers on Facebook, Mr. Rissa Fields, and we're doing a uh, video today to just talk about that and see how investors use it and then see why you hear on the news all the time. So we're going to give you a play-by-play -play, um, of the internet, how to research it, how to look it up, and things like that. So essentially, when investors look at the Dow, uh, it gives somebody an overview of exactly how the market is doing overall so i'm just a common investor or maybe i'm a, a international investor i'm in france i want to see how the u.s markets are doing i can easily look at the dow the nasdaq and the s p 500 those are the top three that you can look at and say wow the market is doing good today it's doing bad today but we're going to give you a play-by-play -play breakdown of how that how that uh, essentially works all right all right, here we go. Let's first of all go with what the Dow Jones mean. The Dow Jones started from a guy by the name of Charles Dow and Edward Jones. They had a, um, a I think, a financial association together back in the 1800s. Uh, essentially, what they did was they came up with a way to um, see the overall view of how the market is doing. So it's been around the longest. That's why it's the most followed. That's why it's like the benchmark for financial uh analysts and stock analysts and anybody like that they always say what the dow jones is doing or what the s p 500 doing or what the nasdaq is doing this is giving you an overview of the market so here i have a a google page up i'm not going to pull up any fancy e-trade account scott trade account usa account this is just so if you just log into google and let's go here let's type in cnn um cnn money right so you type in cnn money so the top thing that comes up is says stock market, uh, Dow Jones, NASDAQ, S&P 500. So let's go to this first one here. Right? So boom, this pops up. This tells me here, market overview. I could This gives me a market overview, right? Not a particular stock, give me a market overview. This is the Dow, this is the NASDAQ, and this is the S&P 500. So here I look at the Dow. It tells me that it's 14,810 points, right? It's telling me that it's down 30 points, what I can see here, and it's it's uh, converting that into a percentage, so it's down 0.21. So I can easily, as an analyst or a stock per person, and say, wow, the Dow Jones is down, the NASDAQ is down, the S&P 500. Personally, I look at this to say, hey, this is how the market is doing. The market is doing bad, so my stock may be doing bad. This also can give you a great point to say, hey, this is a perfect time to buy. You know, gives you the overview of the market because sometimes you'll see the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, all of them are up. All of them are up. And when people see things up, they like to buy. So it should be the reverse way. So here, just click on the Dow for a second. So here, this is telling me uh, how the Dow is performing, right? This is telling me, in the last, this is the 52-week range. In the last year, it's telling me that the lowest the Dow has been is 12,000 points. And overall... Um, the highest it has been is 15,000 points. So this is a 52-week range. This is a year. In the last year, this is the lowest the Dow has been. This is the highest the Dow has been. And this is year-to-date. Overall, the whole Dow is up 13 uh, points, uh, plus 13% correction, up plus 13%. So you can get an overview of seeing how the market is doing all together. So today, uh, this is giving me when Friday was when it closed the market closed on Friday so it's down 0.21 but it's telling me overall it's been up then I can look at this this is giving me a daily thing of Monday through uh, this is going from Monday to Friday so the week is telling me how the Dow has done telling me that the Dow has slowly trickled down so now the thing to keep in mind about the Dow when you stroll down here the Dow it picks it's 30 companies that the Dow picks, publicly traded companies inside the United States of America. And it takes these companies and it see how these companies do over a period of time. It'll tell you how they do in a day. It'll tell you how they do in a week. It'll tell you how they do in a month. And it gives you an overall view. So right here, you see these companies that says 3M, AA, T, T. These are the symbols. These are the stock symbols. So T is how I can find AT&T on the stock market. BAC here. BAC gives, tells me that is the stock symbol for Bank of America. So I can look at this. 
and I can say, okay, the price of Bank of America is trading at $14.12. It is down five cents. Converts that into a percentage, you know, down to 0.35. It tells me the volume, how much of it is moving. And also, it tells me how much it has changed uh, year to date. In the last year, Bank of America has gone up 21%. Um, for Amer uh, You have American Express, um, T, AT&T, Boeing, Caterpillar, Chevron, um, the list goes on, Home Depot. So these are companies that the Dow picks, and it gives you the overall view of how they're doing. There's two pages to it, so let's go to page two of it. So this is telling me, uh, the Dow says, hey, we're going to pick these companies, and we're going to see how they're doing. So right here, you can see the Dow open at 4,844 points. This is what it previously closed at. So Thursday, when the Dow closed, it was 8,000, 8, I mean, 14,840 points. And it opened because after the market closes, you can go into what they call after hours trading. So after hours trading goes on for a few hours. So that's why in the morning, the Dow may open up a little bit higher than what it closed. So you can see the Dow open up a little bit higher. Then also, it's telling me the day's high. That means the highest it has, it has gone in a particular day, which was Friday, is this. And it's telling me the lowest it has gone in a particular day. Tell me the year to date, today's volume, how much of these shares have changed. So it's giving me a breakdown of 30 companies. As you can see, the list goes on. It has McDonald's in here, Johnson & Johnson, Microsoft, Coca-Cola, um, Verizon, Walmart stores. So it goes into companies that you know very well, and it, and it tells how they do over a particular time. It tells how they do over a date. And also, they have here data as of 4.39 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on uh, yesterday, August uh 30th. So that is the Dow. The NASDAQ, let's go back. All right, so that's the Dow. So if you go to the NASDAQ, right? The NASDAQ, they all are essentially the same thing. You have a lot of them that are out there, but these are the top ones that are traded, not traded, but these are like the benchmarks in the financial industry that people look at. So this is the NASDAQ, right? And you can go down, you can see that the companies that are in the NASDAQ, right? And you can see it's 163 pages, 1 800 flowers, uh, first century. Um, first source group, you know, companies you may have heard of, some companies you may have not heard of. These are the stock symbols. It tell you how they're doing. It tells you over a date, so you can get an overview of how the market is doing, right? So that's another one, the Nasdaq. It's the same type of breakdown, and another one, the S and P 500, S and P. So you probably see it, or you probably heard of it. So this is give you an overview of the market, and these are the stocks that are inside of the S and P 500. You can see it goes over to 34 pages. So. These are country, these are companies that are traded that are publicly traded within the United States. They pick these companies and they get them and they follow them for a particular time. And people use these, investors use these, news companies use these, the New York Stock Exchange use these to see to get an overview of how the market is doing all together. The Dow has been around the longest since the 18th century, and it has the most you know uh, respect, and it's been around the longest. You know how those things go, tradition. So and it's good. So. Analysts look at these things and they say, hey, wow, I can see how the market is doing this particular day. So hopefully that answers your questions and hopefully that uh, helps you out a little bit more. If you have any more questions, just uh, let me know. So let's go back to it. All right, guys, so hopefully that helped. Um, thank you for asking the questions. Continue to support us. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, www.com slash Royal Financials. Follow our YouTube channel. Uh, like us, share us. Our website is coming soon, so thank you guys for the support. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, also, give us a comment. Got any more questions? Let us know. Thank you. Everybody, get up.